this video, we're going to show you how to retrieve files from the bomb. Basically, all the flights are stored on a micro SD card inside the bomb, and you can take this SD card out and have access to the data via a computer, or you can retrieve the files wirelessly using an iPad in our AHARS utility app. Um, so I'll show you on this video how to do it the wireless way. Uh, first of all, you go to your iPad and connect to your bomb. Uh, make sure bomb has battery. And once it's connected to the bomb, we're gonna open the AHARS utility app. This one right here. Just make sure that all the systems are working properly. Um, to retrieve the files, you're gonna go to flight log, this last option on our menu. And this downloads flights table will show you all the files that are stored on your iPad. To retrieve the files that are inside the bomb, you just need to click here on retrieve new files and this list is going to be generated. This is a list of all the flight logs that are stored on the SD card. And from this list, you have three options. You can cancel. Uh, this basically just cancels this operation. You can click delete and this button um, will delete the file from the SD card. So be careful if you, if you want to delete files. Um, and then you have done. If, if you do done, it will retrieve the file into the iPad. So I'm going to click on, um, I'm going to click this file right here and click done. File downloading, I'm going to click OK. And then you have the progress bar uh, down below. Please do not close the app uh, while this is downloading. If you do, the bomb will remain in this file transfer mode and um, to, the only way to get out of it is to reset the power to the bomb. So shut it off, then turn it on and it should be back on normal operation mode. Um, you can also restart the app um, as well, close it and, and restart the app and everything will function properly. But if you, if you can avoid doing that, that would be fantastic. Um, so let's just wait for this file to upload. Okay, and when it's done, we get this file retrieved message. Now you can see your file listed under downloaded flights. And um, there's something I want to show you. There's this flight analytics member. Um, this is a service that allows you to upload your flights into a server and then do all sorts of uh, flight analysis after that. So if you are a member, um, you can log in there, username and password. If you don't have a membership, then just click, no, I don't have an account. So if you click on your file, you're gonna see some options. Um, you can share this via AirDrop to your computer. Uh, you can do Cloud Ahoy. For example, I have Cloud Ahoy installed on my app on my iPad. Uh, import a flight, I click OK. And then the flight will upload to the server automatically. So that's a cool feature um, from Cloud Ahoy. Let me go back to the app. Um, and click here one more time. You can save the file to your iPad and email it to, to yourself later on. So those are some of the options. Um, to delete a file from your iPad, you just slide from right to left and click delete. If you want to retrieve more files, um, just click, click, click on the retrieve new files from BOM and see the list and then retrieve the file that you want to retrieve. Okay, hope this video was helpful. You can um, look at more how-to videos on our website, levelaviation.com. And this is Ananda with how-to videos for level. Aviation.